Hey fellow crypto enthusiast, welcome to today's quick trend analysis. Let's get straight to it. In today's video you will find out how the price of IOTA has changed and what the technical indicators SMA, EMA and MACD are showing. If you are not familiar with the indicators, check out the explanation videos down below in the description. Looking at the hourly time frame for IOTA, the price dipped down with around 3.6% but then came up again in the last 24 hours, with a current price of 1.96. Looking at the hourly simple moving averages, at the moment, the price is between the 20 and the 100 SMA. If the price bounces off the 20 SMA which is currently at 1.94 it could be seen as a support and the 100 SMA that is at 1.98 could be perceived as a resistance to the upside. If there were to be a break either way, it means that there could be a continuous move in that direction. However, the shorter time frames are not very accurate and the bigger time intervals like the daily should also be considered for longer price development. Jumping to the hourly exponential moving averages, the current price went above the hourly ribbon, so you should watch out for the price dipping back below the ribbon or if it will play as a support to the downside, which is currently at around 1.95. Moving to the hourly MACD, the trend is currently going down because the MACD line is below the signal line but it's expected for the price to remain the same for some time because the MACD histogram shows that the momentum at the moment is shifting upwards. You should wait and see if the MACD line will cross the signal line, which will be bullish. Jumping to the three hourly simple moving averages, at the moment, the price is between the 20 and the 200 SMA. If the price bounces off the 20 SMA which is currently at 1.93 it could be seen as a support and the 200 SMA that is at 2.04 could be perceived as a resistance to the upside. If there were to be a break either way, it means that there could be a continuous move in that direction. Jumping to the 3 hourly exponential moving averages, we can see that the price is situated in the 3 hourly ribbon, so it is yet to be seen if the price can break the resistance currently at around 2.02. The resistance should be considered because the ribbon is more or less spread out. Jumping to the 3 hourly MACD, seeing as the MACD line is above the signal line, meaning that the trend is currently on the up. The MACD histogram shows that the momentum is currently indecisive so consolidation for some time or shifting the momentum could be expected and you should wait to see if the MACD line will cross the signal line, which will be bearish. Looking at the daily simple moving averages, the price only dipped above the 20 SMA to the upside, but then came down again decisively with higher than average volume, which is a strong signal. At the moment, the price is between the 50 and the 20 SMA. If the price bounces off the 50 SMA which is currently at 1.92 it could be seen as a support and the 20 SMA that is at 2.03 could be perceived as a resistance to the upside. If there were to be a break either way, it means that there could be a continuous move in that direction. Looking at the daily exponential moving averages, at the moment, the price is in the daily ribbon, so you should see if the ribbon could hold support, currently at around 1.86. Nevertheless, a trend change can be expected owing to the ribbon being compressed, which means that the trend is currently not very strong. Usually, when the price moves to the side, the ribbon is less reliable. Jumping to the daily MACD, the MACD line is below the signal line, which shows that the current trend is on the downside. The momentum is currently indecisive, according to the MACD histogram. This means you should wait and see if the MACD line will cross the signal line, which will be bullish, due to the expected shifting momentum. Generally, the bigger time frames have a bigger impact on the price, so please keep that in mind when we show different time frames showing contrasting indicators. Also the shorter time frames are only representative for the short term trading. Thanks for watching and know that every few hours new videos are uploaded analyzing different cryptocurrencies, so be sure to hit subscribe and not miss out. If you have any questions, leave a comment below and we'll get back to you ASAP. Also, keep in mind that you should make your own investment decisions as cryptocurrency trading is very risky and these daily videos are only an overview of trends and are a purely technical analysis without considering the fundamentals. See you next time.